Shifting gears to a different story now, Eugene Park is a legendary figure in Korea. He is the first to introduce the sounds of electric violin to the country. This year, he is holding special concerts to mark the 20th anniversary of his debut. Our Oh Jung-hee got a chance to meet the iconic musician in person. It's a celebration of a great talent and a look back at the last 20 years. Eugene Park, who's known as the godfather of electric violin in Korea, is preparing for a series of concerts to celebrate the 20th anniversary of his debut. The sound of his electric violin resonates the hall as Park shows off his technique. He says the concert is a landmark opportunity for a, quote, revival to bring back the spirit of his past music as well as to lay out his future direction. We're playing every style. We're doing a lot of pop, a lot of some jazz, some classical, um, some uh, original music that I wrote. I want it to be a very nice sounding, acceptable rock concert, you know, nothing crazy, but something people can find beauty in. Park was born in the U.S. and began to play the violin at the age of three. He entered Juilliard Pre-College at the age of eight. Since making his professional debut in 1996, all the albums he released in Korea were a success, but he also had to go through some hard times mired in legal conflicts with his former agency. But putting that aside, Park says he will never let go of his instrument and keep working to present an artistic depth while keeping his music fresh. I kind of changed my structure nowadays. I played for you know, with my MR and the CD, just like stuff that was kind of repetitive. But now we put some soloing into it so I can make up stuff in my head and put it in on my performance. At the concert, Mr. Park will play a variety of music ranging from classical to rock. The event runs from Thursday to Sunday in Tianglu of Northern Seoul. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.